glancing over my records of the late last century, I am faced by the events of a certain bitter winter. A murder in a carriage as it sped through dense London fog in the dead of night. Though the victim and the perpetrator were the only ones inside, there were multiple witnesses to the crime itself. However, none could have imagined at the time that such a seemingly obvious case as this There are 11 states that are bigger than Britain. In such a horrendous manner. Oh, yeah, hold on. My friend. Do you have the list? Mm -hmm. Can I see? Alaska, Texas, Oregon, Montana, California. Yeah, Michigan is the smallest of these. So yeah, so Michigan is bigger bigger than England. Or rather the UK. Mm -hmm. Which includes Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. So England's even smaller. Yep. Because they're talking about specifically Great Britain, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Herlock Jones once said of the incident, I believe that perhaps that case was indeed the prelude. The beginning of a long concerto that in the oh, here. Japanese Here's a map. student and I were to play together. Great Britain fits inside of Alaska. Look at that, we made it. Okay. We are in Britain. Is this really just a railway station? Railway station or not, I've never seen such an enormous building before. <laughs> and look at all the steam locomotives. This country is incredible. I mean, like, we've joked about it before, but seriously, like, being a Japanese person, even, like, they said, like, three decades or so, whatever, being, like, exposed to all this after living your whole life in a relatively unindustrialized nation, it's gotta be the weirdest culture shock. Capital of Great Britain. So, where to? Oh, hello. Climb aboard. I'll take you wherever you want to go. How much is it? In that case, um, the Supreme Court in Whitehall, if you wouldn't mind. My pleasure. Why are they speaking with British accents? I suppose you're uh, a visiting student from abroad, eh? Yes. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense, I guess. So. Probably we got dubbed well, then, in. I hope you enjoy your stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And welcome <laughs> to the center of the world. Great Britain's mighty capital, London. No so would you wonder say... Britain was looking for more. Yeah. <laughs> they ended up with the tiniest slice of island they could find. Whoa, is this going to be our courtroom? No, no, no. Interesting. No, there's no seats. This is just a Greek grandma or whatever. The Lord Chief Justice's office. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, I see. Oh, Ryunosuke. Look at how big the room is. Look at the big cogs. We're inside of a clock. It's so imposing. It's it's almost suffocating. <coughs> oh. This place is breathtaking. Look how it just took my breath away. It looks like a uh, fortress still taking my breath away. There's some stone buildings like this in Japan now, of course, but they've only been built in the for few short decades since we opened our borders to the outside world. An authentic example like this has quite a different impact, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, actually, I feel like I probably would get some sort of culture shock of this as well, because like a lot of the buildings here in America, at least, are young. At least as wet as far west as we are. Uh, they're pretty young. Like, 
Yeah, no, that, that's literally, not literally years. every building that we've been to is under two hundred years old. Two hundred years old. Exactly. And no, there are places in England alone that are centuries old. Mm -hmm. It's certainly unfamiliar. Like fucking Oxford was built in like the eighth century, right? Like it's old. Yeah, that's why again I want to tour Europe. I'd love to tour um, the Middle East too, but mm -hmm. that's never gonna happen. That's probably never gonna happen. No. I think there's more to the differences than just construction materials. What is this place again? This is the Lord Chief Justice's office, Naruto-san. It's the Supreme Court of Great Britain. That's why there's nobody here. The Lord Chief Justice. We had instructions to report here at this time, if circumstances were different. I feel like they made this scene and they didn't have the giant clock in the background. They're like, hmm, nope, seems too normal. You have to make it fucking weird. <laughs> and they're like, yep, and we'll put the cogs of the clock in. We're supposed to let the Lord Chief Justice know that we had arrived from Japan. Because, like, Big, Big Ben isn't a tourist attraction, right? Like, it's just a clock. You can't go inside it. Right? I think you can. Like, not all the way to the top, Not though. all the way to the top. Yeah. Definitely not. But Cosma can't, no. So instead, we are here in a different capacity. As envoys to report the news of Kazuma Sama's death. Yeah. And having delivered his or her message, an envoy's duty is done. So we'd have to return to Japan. If we want to remain here in, uh, in Great Britain, I have to take Cosmo's place as the law student selected for the study tour. Yes, which means you need the requisite qualifications as a lawyer, which is what I've been studying for. Here in Great Britain is the Lord Chief Justice, Lord Chief Justice who appoints lawyers. So that's the second reason why we're here, to have you officially recognized as a lawyer. This is actually kind of fun because, like, Every other person that you play as in this series, there is already a lawyer. Yeah, even if even the earliest case that you get for them, there it's their first case as a lawyer. We've already done two cases before even becoming a lawyer. Our own and our best friends. Yeah. Well, I guess you, I guess the second one doesn't really count because it was didn't take place in a courtroom setting. It was just the investigation. Which I think was really interesting, because that's the first and only time so far this series has done that. They've done an done entire case without the courtroom. Well, I guess the investigation games did that, Objection. but... No objections. No objections. Oh, yeah, sorry for keeping you. That's not the voice I thought you were going to be. Holy shit. I trust you aren't too exhausted after your long voyage from Japan. Doesn't he need a British accent? I don't- I, I can't do a British accent for everybody. <laughs> it seems I'm one hour, twelve minutes, and forty-seven seconds late. My apologies. Oh, no, 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 don't mention it. We only just got here. We're never happier, happier than when we're standing around with nothing much to do. Shut up. How fortunate. Sorry. Introductions. I am Male Strongheart, Lord Chief Justice of the British Empire. I feel like a little mouse under an elephant's foot. Come on, Mr. Naruto, don't be a mouse! Um... It's an honor to meet you, Lord Chief Justice Strongheart. I'm Ryunosuke Naruto from the Empire of Japan. Well, Mr. Naruto... Welcome to London, the capital of our glorious British Empire. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. So, what are your impressions of the our capital so far? How do you like London? Oh, um, it's kind of dirty. I've been so nervous ever since I got here, I can't remember a single thing about the city. It's simply splendid, isn't it, Mr. Naruto? Oh? We had a wonderful view of some London streets from the carriage on our way here from the station. Everything is so impressive and... Grand! I must say, I'm almost lost for words. It's like a discount New York City. <laughs> what? How dare you? 
The city boasts tramways, pipes, water, and gas, even cables supplying electricity. It's nothing like what you find in America. A dirty, dirty colonist country. We spearhead every revolutionary new technology in the world. Every visitor to London is astounded. You know what I wish we still did? The World Fair. I wish we still did the World Fair. But no, we just have the racist Olympics still. That's it. No other sort of world unifying thing. Thanks for saving me there, Susato-san. Everyone seems so jolly and so full of vigor. Oh, you'll get over that soon enough. As much excitement about the upcoming Great Exhibition we'll be hosting here in London. Actually, everybody here in London is quite depressed. It's thanks to a thing we have here in the West called capitalism. Oh, that sounds amazing. It's really not. Cultural and, technological and technological achievements from around the globe are to be exhibited here in our great city. It will be the greatest spectacle of its kind in history. And it will make Paris's World Fair look like a toy shop. Fuck you, Paris. We hate the French so much here in England. More than the Americans. More than in the Americans. Gosh, I can hardly believe how magnif magnificent it's going to be. It's literally because there's like a river separating us from, from France and nothing else. Great Britain's capital city is nothing but magnificent. London is the center of the modern world. What? Even if you say so yourself. The sun will never set on our great empire. <laughs> I can't believe they actually put that line in this game. Because holy shit has the sun set on, emp on England's empire so many times, my dude. Perhaps it is fate that these, in these progressive times we welcome visitors from the land of the rising sun. Remember how after World War II, America was like, hey, we're going to take over Japan and maybe make it a new colony? And then that didn't really work out, so that's the whole reason Japan is even an independent nation. Because America didn't care enough. Lord Chief Justice, I think you were expecting a student of law for this study tour, weren't you? Absolutely. I'm Mr. Kazuma Asugi, if my mem memory serves. That's right. The British government has already been telegraphed a full report on the situation. I understand the young man lost his life aboard the steamship bound for our shores. That's amazing. The news reached him before we even arrived. Such crazy times we, we live in. My country naturally extends its deepest condolences to yours. Oh, thank you. You honored this appointment specifically to inform me of the news? Yes. Well, of course you're a little late. We are here in the capacity of envoys from Japan to report the sad news in person. They tell me you Japanese are people of protocol and courtesy, and I say that's true. And it is with some regret that I must inform you. In that the death of the young lawyer means this study to our arrangement can no longer proceed. If you would just hear us out, Lord, Lord Strongheart. What do you have to say, madam? It's about the study tour. Mr. Naruto here would like to make a proposal. Would he now? Well, Mr. Naruto? This is it, then. The moment of truth. Actually, I should have made the joke that the British guy is the only one that pronounces his last name correctly. <laughs> ah, well, it's a little late for that. Naruto. Naruto. I, I still can't do it myself, so I mean, like, I, I don't know how The I joke would... is there. We all the joke it. is there. Thing is, Lord Justice, um, Lord Strongheart, I was running, wondering if perhaps he would consider allowing the study tour to go ahead. Don't misunderstand me. Britain would ideally like to see the tour go ahead. But without a lawyer from your country, there's nothing to be done. Well, in that case... I'm a lawyer, and fun fact, I also am from Japan. What if there was someone else? Another lawyer from Japan, I mean. What? They have those there? I have a cane. 
I have a cane, and I'm gonna beat your ass, I son. I see you have a sword. I see you have a sword. Uh, yeah? Only a single lawyer was invited to Great Britain from your country, and that was Mr. Osagi. At least that's what I've been led to understand. Well, um, the thing is, this really isn't going well at all. I just can't seem to find the right words to say to this man. Mr. Naruto! I could ruin things here if I'm not careful. What am I going to say? If there's someone else here from Japan who might be described as a lawyer, it's... Actually, there's no one. I'm sorry. I'll just leave now. I'm just gonna go back home to, to Japan. No, I'm just gonna... Uh, it's... It's me! I honestly would have liked it if this game had done a, like, a Danganronpa 3 twist where we had appointed, uh, Susato as the lawyer and we were the, we were the assistant. Mm -hmm. That would be kind of fun, but no, we can't have a female protagonist unless you're Ace Attorney 5 or 3. Those are the only games, I believe, where you actually get to control a female character. That's so... I mean, I don't actually have any qualifications as such, but... No qualifications, you say? And yet you still claim to be a lawyer? Well, I... Com I, I acted as a lawyer before. Mm. Only once, as it happens. And I had Kazuma to help me. And I was the accused. <laughs> but glossing over the details... Okay, that's how. That's that's all you need to do. Uh, I'm I'm good. You know. Uh, I've been spending every spare moment of the journey here to J Great Japan, uh, Great Britain, studying. I've learned all about the British law and court proceedings while I was on board the SS Buria. Well, you're already more qualified than half the lawyers here. Nobody here studies for anything. It's Fifty Not what you might call a full education. To become a qualified lawyer here in Britain, not only do you need a university degree in law. You must also complete several years of training. I realize it's far too short a period of time, but I can't just go back to Japan. Kazuma, Mr. Asoki's journey had only just begun. Coming here on the study tour was all he thought about. I have to carry on and do everything he planned to do. Everything? I know it might sound like I have an overly inflated opinion of myself. But I would do anything to prove that I have what it takes. Any test you care to set me. Anything you say. Just one chance. That's all I'm asking for. Would you give me your watch? I, I need a replacement. Mine has stopped. 31 seconds. Your opening statement there, Mr. Naruto. It was 31 seconds long. Why do I feel like you're gonna be like the final boss or some shit? Not too brief, not too protracted, a perfectly judged appeal, I would say. Which is a skill that would stand you in good stead as a lawyer. Oh, thanks. So, you're willing to put those words to trial, are you? Well, I'm all for entertainment. Huh? Let me ask you one, ask one thing first, sir. Hi. What's the, hello. I think we've already done the introduction part of this. And you, you, see, you say you intend to do everything Mr. Asogi planned to do. Are you firmly set on that path? Because he promised me a blowjob as soon as he got here. You know, as a cultural... Maybe he knows what he planned to do. <laughs> Maybe. Well, yes, that's my intention. I see. Am I imagining things? Or did his expression just alter a fraction there all of, all of a sudden? I can't really tell. The models aren't that descriptive. Very well. You have your wish. I'll give you a chance. A test to become a specially certified lawyer. Whether you pass or fail is entirely down to you. Really? I have a feeling this this next case is gonna be the test. So we're only gonna have like two cases where we're actually a lawyer. So what form will the test take exactly? You're gonna solve a cold case, son. What? What do you consider the role of a lawyer to be? Well, defending people, of course. You're already wrong, so let's have you defend someone. Luckily for you, I have someone right here that needs defending. Me. There's an apt trial. <laughs> yeah, what if? No advocate has been appointed for the defense as of yet, so this will be welcome news. T today? Straight away? If you manage to secure a verdict of not guilty, you'll have passed my test. But what, what if he is guilty? What? 
what could be simpler? You gotta t you gotta make sure he's not he gets a not guilty verdict, even if he's guilty. How do I get myself into these situations? Well, could I ask, what sort of trial is it, Lord Strongheart? It's a trial for. Oh yes, I remember. Sorry, I was winding my watch. Very important. It's a murder trial. Oh well, what else? Fucking what else in this series? Let me think, is there any trial in this series that isn't murder? I mean, literally the last one, it was like an accident, but we framed it as a murder trial, and you could still probably try her as a murder, murderer. I think that if there are any non-murder trials, they end up being murder trials or an accident like this last one was. How did trash get in this? How the fuck? How long has that been there? An extremely simple case, I understand. You really can't lose. That's easy to say. But I should mention, just in case, if the defendant is found guilty, he will of course be sentenced to capital punishment. We here in the civilized West have capital punishment. Here in Great Britain, murderers are sent to the gallows without exception. Presumably you read that much in your short sea-based introduction to British law. We can't possibly agree to such a test. We would be toying with a man's life. That's what the court is, my lady. It's all a fun game. A fun game where if you lose, you die. This is the Western justice system. You can't do that, can you? Yes, of course you can. I've mentioned this many times. No need to overcomplicate this. All you have to do is ensure that you don't lose. And if you do win, we'll kill the prosecution in front of you and give you their head as a gift from the Great British Empire. So the defendant may live or die depending on how well I perform in court. If I lose, he'll be hanged. He didn't say that. Although the timing right would be right, right? They would still be hanging people in the 1900s? Yes. Okay. I was thinking like pirate law. Mr. Naruto, come to, you come to me claiming to be a lawyer? But I see nothing but a boar. A boar, I say. Boar? Wait, hold on. I've got an armband now. Look at this thing. It's an armband. What does it say on the inside? Aww. It's your friend. The lawyer's name is embroidered on the inside here. Look. Kazuma Asuki. That was his best. So now if I die, there, there's, there's going to be a murder case where they have to figure out that, oh no, he wasn't actually Kazuma Asagi. He's actually Naruto Ryoji. He had his heart set on the study tour in Great Britain. I'm sure we would have found the truth he longed for here. But he lost his life before he even had the chance to see the place. I have such a strong sense of his hopes, his dreams, when I see, look at it, this armband, though. These are the scales of justice. They're a symbol of the defense, aren't they? Yes, that's right. Scales are a symbol of fairness to show that all are treated equally in the eyes of the law. And they're warning to those who enter the courtroom without an impartial mind. But if they're the mark of the defense, it would be more auspicious if they were weighing more heavily on the not guilty side, I think. Very impartial, I'm sure. If you want to take me, if you want me to take you seriously, you need to prove you're willing to do the lawyer's job. And you say you intend to see through the will of your compatriot, Mr. Asugi. I would like to understand just how far you're willing to go in order to make that happen. He's testing my resolve. What's the matter? You've fallen silent. I'm sorry, but time is pressing. The trial begins shortly. I need an answer from you now. What's it to be? Hi. What do I say? Do I agree that it's an absurd test? We've already... Kristen, are we agreeing to it? Hi. All right then, if I have to give you a decision now, my answer is, is, I can't do it. I can't get the words out. Come on now, 15 seconds. Your decision making needs work if you want to be a lawyer. 
That was too slow. So it's as I, as I suspected, is it? Sorry? You have noble intentions, but lack the resolve to see them through. The test is cancelled. Thank you for stopping by. Go and acquire a ticket for passage back to the east tomorrow. This conversation is over. What? Yes, Lord Strongheart. Did you press the other one, or...? Thank you for offering me a chance. <laughs> I definitely did. I'll do it. I'm sorry, Miss Tusato, but what could I do? It's all right. I understand. You do? It's not an easy decision to choose whether to defend a man in these circumstances. But resolve has absolutely nothing to do with it. What? I think what Miss Susato means is that no matter how badly I like to be recognized as a lawyer and stay here in Great Britain, to risk another man's life by treating his one and only chance at a trial so trivially would be utterly unforgivable, and I feel exactly the same way. I'm sure the defendant won't see this trial as a test, as some side of some kind of experiment. A lawyer may fight for his clients in court day after day, but for each one of those clients, the particular day they stand in the, in the dock, may be the only chance they'll have to fight to prove their innocence. No, I was wrong. I'm not qualified to do that job yet. I'm sorry for wasting your precious time, Lord Chief Justice. You passed. Wait, Mr. Naruto. Oh, was there something else? It's approximately 20 minutes by car carriage to the Old Bailey from here. If you leave immediately, you should still be there in time. But I just said that... I was quite serious in what I told you. The defendant in this case has literally no one to advocate for him. What? At this point, he can't hope to find someone to represent him. The trial will begin without a defense. I didn't mean to pop that open. If that happens, there's only one possible outcome. Death. He will receive the most severe sentence the judge can pass down. But that's awful! That is the truth. Why does it have to be like this? Because we're a backwards country with a backwards blood system. What, you thought thought we were the pinnacle of society here over in Great Britain? Ha, you're fucking wrong. The cold hard truth of the matter is that there is only one person now with a chance to save this man from a very miserable end. Me. But also, you, you could try doing it too, I guess. I'm really his only hope? Yeah, I'm busy. I gotta count the seconds until you come back. What do you say now, madam? Me? What do you mean, Lord Strongheart? You said it wasn't an easy decision to choose whether to defend a man in these circumstances. And I agree. But in my estimation, it is purely and simply a matter of resolve. Oh. Our time is up here. I have a meeting to attend. I must leave in two minutes and sixteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. 14 seconds. So venture into our great city and enjoy yourselves. But also defend that man. <laughs> also, you should probably go defend that man. He's gone. The old Bailey. We're going to do this, Mr. Nars. How we must leave at once. Well, rather than do that. Look at that. Miss Susato, can I ask you something? Whoa. Whoa. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> From this position, I can perform a Susato takedown in an instant. I, I know. Mr. Naruto, you heard Lord Strongheart. The trial starts, in starts imminently. If I need to throw you, I will. You know, you could just say, I think we should hurry to the courtroom. If you need to ask me anything, it had better wait until we're at the Old Bailey. Alright, everything is now clicked upon. I cannot inspect any- <laughs> Turning auto-saved. Yeah, it won't let you. You gotta go. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting piece of... 
what to do. Hey. Hey, yeah! Shove this in your face. We'll conversing with her do the same thing. Yep. Literally anything will put you down that path. Alright, to the to the old Bailey. 